Welcome to WatchGuard Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Key Steel. In the news today, there's many articles about a young researcher who found a serious new vulnerability in Mac OS but is not telling them. This 14-year-old researcher calls his uh, attack key steal, and he has a video demonstrating the attack. Basically, just by running an unauthorized program on your computer, he can actually steal your passwords from the Apple uh, system keychain. This, of course, is a built-in password manager in Mac OS that is supposed to protect things like your passwords. And by the way, this app does not need administrative privileges. So this app works even with basic privileges. It's a pretty serious vulnerability for Apple. Yet, the 14-year-old researcher currently refuses to share any details about the attack with Apple because he disagrees with their bug bounty program. If you're unfamiliar with bug bounties, they're when customers offer financial rewards to security researchers who find vulnerabilities in their products. Now Apple does have a bug bounty program, but apparently only for iOS, their mobile operating system. They don't have a bug bounty program for Mac OS, which is where this key steal vulnerability lies, and that's what this particular 14-year-old researcher disagrees with. By the way, as it turns out, this is the same researcher that found the FaceTime group vulnerability that allows you to snoop on FaceTime users even before they accepted a call. Anyway, it's a pretty huge vulnerability. On one hand, I actually don't like uh, researchers who disclose details about flaws without informing the vendor. But this researcher has not done that. This 14-year-old is actually making a pretty solid point. He knows about this vulnerability. He hasn't publicly disclosed it to the rest of the world either. And he's kind of pressuring Apple into considering whether or not to have a bug bounty program for Mac OS as well. So it is kind of an interesting effort by this 14-year-old. Now, I do know another argument that might be against this researcher is I do not believe that security researchers should try to extort companies to try to get rewards for the vulnerabilities they find. You know, bug bounty programs are very cool, but they are actually voluntary. There are some companies that just can't afford to have bug bounty programs. That said, Apple is definitely not one of those companies. They do have an existing bug bounty program. So in this case, I think I personally kind of side with the 14-year-old researcher. It will be interesting to see how Apple reacts, whether they give him a reward for this vulnerability he found, or if they just try to replicate it and fix it themselves. Anyways, what is the practical tip? Well, the good news is the world so far doesn't know how to exploit this. Only the 14-year-old does. That said, bad guys, now they know about it, could certainly catch up. There's really not much you can do uh, about this other than not let unauthorized applications run on your computer. As long as you keep suspicious software away from your Mac OS device, you should be okay because in order for this to work, it actually has to run code on your computer. Anyway, fascinating story, one that I'll definitely update you to as soon as we know about Apple patching. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching.